right, so you saw that last night on the channel. That's Joe Biden essentially taking credit for the ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. It was actually brokered by Egypt, not by the United States. Let's bring in Fox and Friends weekend co-host Pete Hegseth and Will Kane. Hey, Pete, you know, for him to be taking credit, that's like him saying that he was taking credit for <laughs> killing bin Laden when we know that, in fact, he said, you know what, I don't think this is a good idea. Let's not do it, boss. That's true, and ultimately we know the outcome of that was a positive one in killing bin Laden. What remains to be seen is whether or not this ceasefire is ultimately positive for the state of Israel, whether they had sufficient time to exact the type of price that Hamas needs to pay for firing indiscriminate uh, rockets deeper than ever into the state of Israel. So there's, there is always a peace to be found on the other side of war, and in this particular case, Israel did what it needed to do for a very short period of time to attempt to decimate a terrorist network. The question is, is it enough? And what role did Joe Biden truly play? He started out at the beginning saying Israel has a right to defend itself. Then the Hamas caucus, the far left wing of his party, pressured and pressured and pressured him. There was a lot of moral equivalency from this administration between the two, which is absolutely false. And now we still see them dabbling with an Iran deal, which would enrich the Iranian regime and, and allow them to get closer to a nuclear weapon when that's the regime supplying Hamas in the first place. So it remains to be seen whether this is a good thing. All I care is whether or not Bibi Netanyahu and Israel feel like they got the price paid from Hamas that they needed at this moment for deterrence. Well, we want you to weigh in on this topic. Uh, Border Patrol, they, they uh, get 32 Mexican nationals. They were crossing, they came over from Mexico. They were at the Arizona, New Mexico border. They're dressed in camouflage. What was your reaction to that? Well, that it was an arrest that reflected exactly what I saw a few weeks ago when I went to the Arizona border for Fox and Friends, Ainsley. I saw firsthand the camouflage discarded on the loadout zones there where the, the migrants take off the, the cartel-issued camouflage, the carpet shoes they use to move quietly through the desert, backpacks full of whatever it is they bring into the United States. It just backs up everything that Sheriff Mark Lamb uh, and others showed me there in Arizona. And by the way, we got to participate in a Border Patrol arrest. And guess what? Those migrants were also Mexican right. nationals wearing that exact outfit right there. That is a great illustration of what is happening at the southern border in Arizona. And you know what, Will? I think the people of uh, Arizona, it goes beyond politics because you have both Democratic senators in Arizona coming out saying something has to be done at the border because they know they have no political future because the people of Arizona don't care about Republicans, Democrats. Their lives is becoming chaos because of that, uh, that porous border. Hey, Brian, two things, two quick points on what I heard. It's about the rule of law. Do you want to live in a place where it seems like the rule of law just doesn't apply, nobody obeys the rules? And then secondarily, to your point, quality of life. How would you feel if somebody's just always walking through your backyard and there's nobody you could call mm -hmm. to solve that? It's a quality of life issue. Sure. And, Pete, what about uh, we had about 20 minutes ago that congressman from Tennessee. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, the federal government calls the governor of Tennessee and says, hey, can you take some of these migrant kids? And he said no. We don't have room. So what are they doing? Reportedly, they are flying them into airports in the middle of the night. They haven't told anybody, hey, yep, we've got the kids coming, because they don't want the folks to know. Why wouldn't they? Uh, they, they ran scared from images they didn't want the media to see from the beginning at the border because of a policy they instituted. And rather than address the actual issue at the border, as Will's talking about, they tried to make the problem quietly in the middle of the night go away. I'm surprised they're even asking states or notifying them. And no. oftentimes there is no notification process and people are released and, and mayors are left to deal with it. This is not a border issue. This is coming to a town near you. Well, I, uh, go ahead. Uh, Ainsley uh, wants to know who's going to be on your show. I'd like <laughs> to be surprised. Uh, so can you here's the, then close your eyes close because it's in the here's telephone. The great yeah, thing. yeah, here's the great thing. Usually Pete and I like to be surprised as well. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> it's in the prompter. Uh, Maria okay. Salazar, the, UN, the, the Israeli ambassador uh, to the U.S. and the U.N. And there you have it right there, Nancy Grace. Oh, she's always a great guest. And Will, you've been doing a great job on prime time. I bet you're exhausted. You worked all say. last week. You worked last week <laughs> when Brian was on shoots, and then you worked all weekend, then you worked all week, and then you're working this weekend too. The only you thing I have going for me is that Kilmeade's on the same screen as me right now. So I mean the guy's working 18 hours a day. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I don't know how you do. <laughs> right. Well, um, I would say this. 
the fact that your full screen has you with a beard, uh -huh. but yet we're looking at you live without one, it makes me wonder wh who makes that decision. Do you have a fashion consultant? But he one needs of us, some headshots. But one Get of us the man has a some beard. headshots. <laughs> Huh? One of us has a beard right now. Uh, yeah. Pete has a policy. Always. He does not shave during, during the week. week. He only shaves on the weekend yeah. when the mm -hmm. paycheck. Who kicks comes in. up with that policy? It's in my contract. <laughs> who, who comes up with a policy Brian. like that? Get a he better agent. Incredible. Get a better agent, Brian. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to be watching you this weekend, and Will, we'll see you tonight. Thank you. Uh, on Prime Time. Thanks, guys. Right.